so hello and welcome back to the 300th episode of Joyce Brothers Farms I want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching and to the 5,289 subscribers we have I really appreciate it
the end road shelled off so I guess I'll walk down here and get the blue truck that way we got something to dump on looks like co-op delivered daddy a load of feed this morning got his gravity flow there with the 42 Make sure the gates are closed, ain't nothing coming out the bottom. And so 
two by 13 acres and the wind is already filthy. There's gonna be some good spots and then you're gonna have spots like this right here and that's, I don't think there's, yeah, I see a few, few ears out there but not many, but thankfully it's just that one little area there, I think. This is the worst of the of it that I've seen. This is a sandy spot <clears throat> in the side of the hill, but if that's the worst we've got, we've done all right. I've seen some corn on better ground that looked like that. So there's a lot of corn around didn't even put a ear on. Uh, right now it says we're averaging 102. The first 10 acres we shelled getting their calibration load averaged 99, so that should be fairly close. Pretty impressed this corn still, the stalk's still good and green on it. Seems to have a lot of stalk strength. Every ear, every stalk put an ear on. They might not be a big ear, but at least they put an ear on and you know, that's all that counts. Uh, I'm really surprised this old hill doing this. We've got, this is a new corn we tried. It's a uh, cropland 4930. Uh, we was looking for an earlier maturing corn that could take stress. And I believe there's gonna be a lot more acres of it next year. We didn't plant but 15 acres of it to try. But I got a feeling next year there's going to be a whole lot more of it on Dylan Joyce's farm. Uh, on the other side, the lower end of the field, we got Cropland 4997. It's a 108-day corn. We've been growing it two or three years now. Really, we're really fond of it. It does a good job for us. I've never seen it in a year like this. Uh, past couple of years we've planted it has been uh, we've been blessed with uh, plenty of rainfall so I've never seen it on a year like this so I don't know what it's gonna do I hope I hope it keeps up with this 4930 but I'm kind of thinking I'm afraid I'm gonna wish I had a lot more of this 4930 but this ground on the upper end over up here is a lot better ground than that on the lower end, so we'll just have to see. What I'm doing is I shell, I count over 12 rows and shell up the middle, and by doing that, I can go down the center and my auger's on the left-hand side and I can always keep my auger in the unshelled area where we can unload on the go and not have to stop the combine. I'm just trying to always keep that combine moving because if it's sitting still, you're not knocking any acres out. back from the uh, grain elevator we just took that well you can't see the blue truck we just took that load off got our second calibration load showing 1960 bushels that we shelled the actual bushels was 1,800 
81 bushel so we're going to apply that calibration says it was four percent off i'm going to apply that said it was a success uh our moisture does not need any correction it was at 16 percent uh let me do some we'll figure up what this corn the first two loads of corn has made go up here gotta make my field active says we've shelled 14 acres in this field and then we shelled 3.6 acres in another field calculator 1,981 bushel divided by 17.5. 107.4 4 bushel to the acres, what we're yielding right now. So, like I said, according to some, according to some numbers I've heard, I'll take that because I've heard some really bad numbers. Well, we got off in this uh, cropland 49.97, and it's kind of as I feared. It ain't near as good as that 49.30 which that 49.30 is a lot newer hybrid of corn but in 49.97's defense uh, when you fall off below this terrace this ground on this side of the terrace ain't near as good there's 15 acres above the terrace that's pretty good dirt and then when you get off in uh, this farm it's it's been kind of plagued with erosion problems over the years. As you can tell right here, we're coming into a uh, grassed waterway that I put in. And, uh, you know, that's to help battle the erosion problems. And, uh, you know, there's lots of, there's several uh, sediment basins that I put in and there's just thin spots where we stole dirt over the years. You know, it, the yield's holding in there pretty steady. It got up to 111 on the hill, and we're back down to 105. But, I mean, it just ain't instantly dropping, which I don't have it set up to take the uh, waterways out, so it's counting the waterways in there in the yield, too, unless I just raise the header pump up. But when you come up on the, oh, this old hill, the yield picks back up. It's, you know, shelling 120, 120, 130 up there on this old hill. The tops of the hills are doing good, and the swags are doing good, or the low-lying areas. You know, they're, the swags are doing really good, and it's the, it's the side of the old hills that, uh, that get you. I mean, right through here, we're, you know, running 130, 140. I don't think that's too bad for 60 days without rain. Or over 60 days. We got like, well, 60 days and we got like a tenth in that 60 days. At the end of that 60 days. Then we went like 10 more days before we ever got a significant amount of rain. need something to tip that, top that truck off. baby blues of grain elevator it's uh 18th of september 19th of september latest we've ever got started shelling corn and uh days are getting shorter got old blue loaded up go to the elevator and uh 
hopefully we'll get run through fingers crossed for no alpha toxin and uh, we'll be good to go well we're right here at dusk about to finish up a 42 acre field Sound like my neighbor down the road running. I don't know uh, if we're gonna move over to across the road and uh, open that up or call it a night. I can't, I can't get too close to that corn dust anymore. Stuff messes me up. Should have done went to the doctor and got my inhaler. A new prescription for my inhaler, but I'm stubborn. I hate to spend the money. Old tight wad.